We're looking at this uh, Aquastar 125 model tankless water heater. Um, the uh, pilot light went out on this, and so I cleaned it and got it to uh, turn back on. But I was going to give you a quick overview of how to uh, get into this unit and then um, do this yourself. So what we're going to do here is we're going to pull off this temperature adjustment knob. And then we're going to unscrew this um, little piece that holds the bottom part of this uh, metal piece intact. And then uh, what we have to do is we have to take this metal shield. We're going to go up about a half inch and, um, and then we should be able to pull that off. And then I would say um, if you look at the top here and come down um, to about that position here, there's there's like a little uh, metal catch. That's where uh, it gets held on, both on the right and left side. Um, so anyway, I'm going to pop this off and uh, show you what that looks like. So here's a picture of um, this little channel here, both on the right and left side, where the top piece kind of goes behind it and it slides down and then it stays in position. And uh, so that's kind of what that looks like. And then in here, this is uh, uh, the off position. And this, this slid all the way to the left. Here is the uh, where the uh, igniter is and, and the uh, thermocouple is behind there. What I did is I took these two screws off on the, both the right and left side. I just pulled this out about a half inch to an inch so I could get in and and see what was going on in there. But I don't know if you, uh, you can see the uh, igniter. And then you can, uh, oops, you, if you look back there, you can see the, uh, the thermocouple st sticking up in the air. But both of the igniter and the thermocouple were covered with the uh, oxidation white powder. So um, when that happens, the um, pilot light shuts off because it's not generating enough millivolts or microvolts of uh, probably more millivolts of energy. Um, so to get that lit back up, um, you take this, move it to the middle position, and then we push this button in and then push the igniter at the same time. Let me see if I can do that. Okay, so I got the uh, um, igniter or pilot light turned on and um, it's ready to go. Um, also on this unit, there's uh, these uh, two pipes that are coming off here and going down. There's like a little, uh, I'll call it more like a water flow detector, um, probably some pressure sensor there. Um, and when, when the water's not flowing, then this shuts off the, uh, the flame in this heat exchanger so it doesn't blow up the uh, heat exchanger. Um, but, you know, after cleaning that up, I put the screws back on and ran some water. Uh, when, you're, when you're going into the operation mode, then you slide this thing all the way over to the right. Um, right now, there's no water running so the the, uh, the flames down here on the burners will not light up at this particular time but uh, as soon as you turn on the water you'll see that light up and when you shut the water off you better better see that those burners go off right away otherwise you've got uh, safety concerns hope you like the video